Hello and welcome to another episode of Sleep Well. Uh, yeah, it's been a while. I'm very sorry for the delay, but I had to do a few things for my own, for myself. And let me check what we have. We have glass paints and I wanted to take at least one boat with me, just in case we need to travel a little bit. So here we are. It's a beautiful day in Minecraft. Again, oh, what do we have here? Do we have some food or something else? I don't know, no. So yeah, mm. we have a few projects going on, which also includes, of course, the new house. This will, this house will become like a, a farmhouse maybe for all the crops and everything. So basically just storage room. Um, that was, at least that was the plan. Oh no, well, here the creeper explode did two creepers actually mm, let me check how far we are because i don't remember anymore to be honest <laughs> yeah it's been a while i know i know it's been a while i'm very sorry but you know there's also like stuff going on rl that has priority to myself uh, at least sometimes and uh, this is how you have to do it right this is um, you have irl stuff too to do like uh, I, I don't know you have appointments you want to do a little bit more uh, then you have to talk to people all is very time intensive well I need I need to make like real stairs here somehow so I can so I have better access to my mountain here uh, but yeah the plan was also to make like a water elevator somewhere here uh, I just don't know how to how I should do that we have glass panes. Oh, we don't have glass. Windows. Uh, maybe this is why we have this in our inventory, so we can put put them here. And here. And here, of course. Do we have more windows? No. I didn't didn't plan anything so far. Uh, we have we have the tiles here. I see, I see. So we could finish because we have, because I have actually some, some planks so we can finish up this year. The problem is the cobblestone, uh, the, no, the, the deep slate tiles. And I also would like to do something with, um, with, uh, the tough tiles actually but I think we do that we'll do this uh, on the second floor so here 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 uh, it's a lot of work actually right but this is normal in Minecraft I guess this is building this is why the sleep well is actually the best thing uh, you can do here with So close this. Yeah, the only mob that could come in here now are spiders because they can just climb up and then, you know, slide through this gap here. But pff, what are spiders? They are they're clowns with eight legs. So this is no problem. And yeah, to concentrate. I don't know. The time is uh, the times are sus. sus no, the, the times are not sus. The times are strange uh, because I wanted to. Oh, I don't have enough planks. I see. So there's always like a small amount. There's like four, five, five planks, wooden blocks, planks. Ah, yes, and this is what I wanted to do as well. Uh, place more torches here because when we close up the the roof actually so we will have no there will be no no light in here so mobs can spawn which we don't want of course and we have three balconies or let's say two balconies oh so nice i love the view i love that you can from here basically also see a little bit of the house here then here will be another storage room or something i i don't know i, I still want to use this uh, place as something um, maybe you have an idea you can write me in the in the dis uh, in the discord <laughs> in the comments 
in the comment section below. By the way, if you are still awake, I want to use this opportunity to leave a like and maybe subscribe if you are new to the channel. And uh, yeah, as you know, when you, are ha when you already are subscribed, of course, thanks for the support. Uh, really uh, highly appreciated. Ooh, no, 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 I don't, I don't want to go there now. Uh, not not here, not now. Uh, uh, Jesus Christ, it's a heart attack moment. Here. Oh wait, is this good here? Oh, there's coal. Wait, do I already have... Yo, I have good stuff on there. I just don't remember because, you know, the problem is when you have... When you have... Uh, so many Minecraft projects at some point you just don't remember anymore in which project was which pickaxe has which encha uh, which enchantment and stuff this is like maybe I shouldn't do <laughs> I shouldn't do this many projects in Minecraft ah yeah by the way and also a good thing is when we are living up there I don't have to listen to the villagers in this in the basement anymore this is like, this is maybe the worst part. Uh, you can always hear them. This is like, they're always talking. They never stop talking. <laughs> so the glass paints are actually a good. Oh, I have so much stuff here. Okay. But not enough stuff here, right? So let's put this here. A little bit of sorting again. So I want to go and harvest this here. Because we might need a few emeralds and stuff like that. And this is, this is a sound I really don't like, because uh, when you want to do stuff like this here, for example, that you want to, um, you know, you want a cozy recording, a cozy recording for, like, for people to fall asleep, right? This is like, you don't want to... Wait a second. You, you don't want any loud noises to basically... Maybe I will I will uh, quite make it quiet in post production, but I don't know. So we save all the sugar cane for later for for trading with the villagers, and maybe harvesting the fields would be recommended now, so uh, younger crops can can have a chance to come through. So wait, let's let's take all the beetroot. We haven't done this in a while. Some sounds are really cool, like this one here. It's like a bubbly, like, really would it do this sound in, in, in real life? No, but it's Minecraft, it's not real life, so. It's okay. <laughs> hey, uh, let's go. Harvesting is very cool because there's like the moon face. And the sun is setting already, okay. Yeah, we are working hard today. We used all the time th on this day to do stuff, actually. This is really good. Um, so this also looks fully grown already. This is good. Oh, and especially the carrots. So I can make golden carrots. Normally you would not need to, if you start like, if you start this project good and with you know, having a brain, <laughs> unlike me, um, then you could start with just two fields of carrots and then you go for gold and then you have golden carrots, which replaces meat at, or steaks at all. So, so this is wheat now. This is what we are doing. We are basically, <laughs> it already starts growing. Yeah, this is already, okay. Put away this. No, it's getting dark. I don't want. I don't want any hostile mobs to spawn. This is why we go to bed now. It's, it's not worth, right? Uh, you already have seen that two creepers exploded next to our uh, cherry trees, uh, which I can't fix now. Basically, I I don't know if I should get rid of the if I should get rid of the. Oh no, we can fix it. We also can fix it with 
with mud, with dirt. So then let's go and fix this with dirt because that was basically uh, unintentional. I didn't, I just didn't see them. They were, creepers are way too, they are too good camouflaged in this game. I, I don't like that. Especially in this 16, 16 pixel uh, texture pack, right? Which is the standard vanilla texture pack. So, so let's replace all of this. This will this will look normal in in no time because the grass will grow over it, so it's no not a problem at all. So the bigger problem is now to how to place the. the logs for this cherry tree. I assume, and this is just a, a stupid assumption of mine, so we make this like this and that, and uh, and then like this. Hmm? What do you think? So it looks a little bit like this. I think this is good. This is natural because this was an entrance to uh, this cave here somewhere. This cave? Oh no! I, I hit the, I hit the light button again. <laughs> yeah, this, unfortunately, this happens with this uh, shader pack because I am not. You know, normally I'm used to press R if I want to zoom in and Optifine, but as we don't have Optifine for this version now. And I don't even know if we will ever have, because uh, when I have Optifine, I can't use Iris anymore. Uh, that means that this text, uh, this shader pack would be will be gone then. Oh, that was close. I thought. Uh, hello. As nice as this looks like, right? The these small water channels, channels or canals. Oh, I don't know now. This is this is always like you know coming from Germany, having like this mixture of English and Dutch in your brain somehow, because this is what what German basically is somehow, right? This is like super super annoying, because you mix up words all the time. Oh wait, I didn't get rid of all the things. I do a loose sorting now. I will sort it later properly. Don't worry for for all the control and control freaks and perfectionists in my videos. Hello, welcome. Yeah, I know that you exist. I'm a little bit of a perfectionist myself somehow, which is not good always. Not always good. Uh, I know that, but I don't know if we can do anything about it. Okay, let's go. You know, the problem is, I think, uh, speaking of this perfectionism, is that at some point in your life, this, I think this is a school problem, schooling problem, because at some point in your life, uh, teachers will tell you, oh, you will become this and that, you will be great in, in life later, you will have a lot of money, blah, blah, blah. Uh, and this is kind of a misconception, because when this does not happen, many people are devastated, right? They start, you know, they start questioning themselves, even though sometimes, of course, not always, but this can happen. Uh, I've seen it happen to some friends. And uh, yeah, this is this can become a big problem in, in life for, for people later. This is like... This is why everyone tries to tell you, I guess, not to take life too serious, uh, whatever this means, uh, you know, because it's also a dumb thing to say, don't take life serious, because if you don't take life serious, you will end up somewhere on the street, right? So um, take life serious, but don't, don't let it don't let it dominate everything you see your view on life too much because i think i think this is a wrong um 
it's wrong to say don't take life serious. Take life serious. Don't take society too serious. This is a better advice, a better phrasing, I guess. Um, and it makes also more sense. I, I don't know what I thought why, um, why it, when I did this here. But let's also harvest this. <laughs> I don't care. Yeah. Some people, it's like, I remember I was so lost when I heard this for very on the very first for the very first time, right? Like, don't take life serious. If I don't take life serious, I will end up on the street. I was like, you have to take life serious, but don't take people too serious and don't take society too serious because there's a lot of, you know, there's a lot of stuff going on in society that basically, wait, do I have, where do I have all my shovels, by, shovels, by the way? Oh, it starts raining. Oh, this is why I love this texture pack. This is why I would not want to... Oh, this is good for the crops now. It's raining. Hello. Oh, horsey horsey over there finds it, finds it nice too. I can see you. Can you see me? But we have our own horse. There, is he, there he is. I just forgot what I named him in this, in this, <laughs> in this project. Fury, okay. The other one was Flitzer. I remember. I remember the names, but I don't know <laughs> which horse is in which game, which project. Um, I wanted to see... Oh, we have only one shovel is left. <gasps> yes, I forgot we have a trident now. Mm -mm. This is really good. I like that. Okay, let's put the glass paints back here because we basically don't need them now. Um, the question is, do I have enough money to buy, to buy mending? Some of these dudes here must have mending, I know that. One of you has mending. Is it you? No. Is it you? Yes. It's 26 and a book. Okay. Okay, I can, I can provide that. Because, as you could see, we have many, many papers here where... We have a book. <laughs> hey, wait, we have Unbreaking 3. This is what I also want to put on on the trident. Unbreaking 3. Mending, of course. Uh, what do you have? This is Unbreaking 3. Sharpness. But... Okay, wait. Then let's make paper out of these thingies here. If it's possible. Yeah, uh, we gotta sit on one. No, no problem. This will be enough to get like two emeralds, I guess. Hello, where's the guy who... Was it you? Yes, nice. Look what I have for you. Yeah, money. Isn't it nice? I mean paper. I mean not money. Paper. So much paper. Oops. And then you can take all of these. And he is happy because he will become a, a, a real librarian now. What is he selling? I mean, even if he's not selling now something, maybe later in the process he will sell a lot of good stuff. You never know that. Efficiency, this is good. Who is, who is he? Hello. Who are you? Ah, the mending dude. Here we are. Here we go. Thank you for the mending book. Bye. <laughs> Have a nice day. <laughs> you can live in the basement. <laughs> Stay in the basement. Mm, trident. Hello. Where's, where is it? Here we are. Yes, we got a trident finally. Oh, so nice. And, oh, wait. As long as I can do that, I think I put... Oh, do we have some... Oh yeah, we have enough diamonds. Yeah, then I will put uh, Unbreaking on this one. And then hopefully um, we can find... Ho then hopefully we can find some... Someone who will give us Riptide. Sometimes you can get Riptide 3 from books uh, that you catch in the water. Oh, the, the sun is coming out, what? 
the sun is going out, coming out here, but it's still raining. Yo, this is why I love this texture pack so much. And I'm super... What the heck is this? Oh! So you think you can, you can do this like as you wish, huh? Wait, I have something much better to kill you with. This is this here. Because I need the experience for... The problem is... Yeah, what would be better? To get like Riptide or to get like Loyalty? This is... I don't know. It's kind of hard to to say what you would need first. Do, do you want a distance and melee weapon? Or do you want to tra uh, travel faster through the ocean? Because, you know, as you know myself already a little bit, I love areas that are combined. And this, this actually looks like really cool right now. That are combined, that are uh, close to water and obviously also uh, with like hills or mountains. This is, I love this, sheesh. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm wired this way. Uh, I kind of love it, always loved it. I remember you know, there's a, now a little story out of my out of my childhood that um, we had or still have some family in the mountains and um, I remember, but I haven't been there for many, many years now, uh, unfortunately. Uh, and I, I don't even know if the if the children of my step aunt, no, not step aunt, like great aunt, great great aunt, and I don't know who these people are for me, by the way, but they are some kind of family from my mother's side. And um, I remember they had like a huge house and a lot of land and at some point also cows on this land that was really nice and on the other uh, and there was like a stream on the other side of the road and from the stream like direct from the stream went a mountain up like a real big one you could also see that there was snow on top so it's kind of and I remember that this one summer, I really remember because it was so nice. There was a small waterfall. It was really cool. I'd, I sometimes dream up to this day from, of this experience, right? You will, this is something, some, oops. This is something you sometimes will never forget. Uh, I remember then I, that I went, uh, my aunt was, my great grand aunt was on she was milking the cows for, for uh, milk for Sunday. And I woke up and ran up to her and the cows, you know, they they got scared. I didn't understand it because I was like, I don't know, six, seven years old. I haven't seen a cow before in my life. <laughs> so I didn't know how to behave in front of them. And uh, yeah, then she later, she was not mad, but she explained that was that it was kind of dangerous because they are big animals, right? They can... They can kill people. I mean, even unintentional, they don't want to kill, but, you know, when they panic, then, of course, they can uh, tackle and kill a human being. Al alone with the mass they have, uh, the mass of, the, of their bodies, uh, they will just obliterate a human being. So I think uh, if I'm really, uh, in, uh, if I'm well informed, it's also the first cause of death in America, right? Cows are kind of dangerous animals because Americans die a lot to them. I mean, not because... Yeah, it's, it's one of the more often cause of deaths in America, I guess. If I remember it correctly. I, I don't know, I catched it somewhere. This information, I don't know if this is really true. Never been to America, even though we have family over there. But... Yeah, the relationship to my uncle, uh, between my uncle and my dad, are a little bit, yeah, I don't know, put on ice. They're a little bit frosty, I'd say. I don't know why, by the way. <laughs> no one wants to tell. But, yeah, this is um, a bit strange. This is uh, c'est la vie. Uh, this is how the French say. This is life. Stuff happens in life. You can never 
you ha never have like I mean you can plan stuff here yeah, but you can never fully have like uh, it's not it's not guaranteed that everything will be fine for no one even if you are super rich it's every day can be like you know it's like the lottery uh, today you have five millions on your on your bank account tomorrow you don't uh, or you keep the five millions but which is of course not too bad but then you have like a disease that uh, might kill you <laughs> it's uh, c'est la vie this is life it always has been like that and will always be like that because we don't have fully power over it right this is uh, and i think it's good like that that things when you don't take care of yourself uh, then this will be something that you will have to face yourself not maybe today but i'm pretty sure that in a way or another later in life definitely stuff will happen that is not very good for either for you or your family And this is, I mean, this is also like, it's not only, it's not only uh, stuff if we care about ourselves. This is, uh, this is also stuff like, oh, look, we, we did a lot. We did a lot. This is already, already a good piece of work we did here. So I wanted to go. I don't know where to, to be honest, I don't know where to put the cut between this and this here so maybe i will do it like from here so there will be still oh i'm sorry so maybe there will be still this yeah this is good this is a good idea so the cut is here so we still have to get rid of all of this so this is still a massive massive piece of uh of dirt or of terra forming ahead of us. I don't know if I will maybe I will do that off camera because I think this is I mean okay this is a this is a sleep well it's not meant to be uh, action right. I mean sometimes of course I understand that I can't avoid the action because some mobs are attacking us because we stayed uh, too long in the fields harvesting or building outside this is uh, it's like life right is he comparing minecraft to life yes there is you know this is like what do you think that you have we have board games what do you think we have board games because this is like stuff children and also sometimes adults uh, can learn stuff from right it's based on economics uh, of on skill economical skill um, where you can learn a lot from, actually. So this is why board games, or people who play board games, are most of the time better and stuff like that. I don't say that everyone has to play board games now. There's also like, you can play board games in Steam. Um, um, Cards Against Humanity and stuff like that. Chess. Uh, I actually have a package. I, I just forgot the name. Uh, Uno, for example, I love Uno, but <laughs> dang, U Ubisoft is such a pain sometimes. I mean, they are, for me at least. Um, the story behind this is that I basically, I have, I, I got Uno from a friend um, because I, I bought him a game you know, as, as a gift for Christmas and he f somehow felt the need to give it back to me, like to you know, to give me something back, uh, which is of course cool. I but he ha didn't have the money back then. I said him, I told him, you don't need to do that, because uh, I I I can afford this, right? So you don't really need, have to give me anything. I don't I don't need it. Um, if I want it, I can buy it myself. So, <laughs> but he felt bad, and then I said, okay, but something very very small. And Uno at that time actually cost did cost like two euros or something, two euros, because it was uh, during Christmas time, right? So there was a lot of um, there was a lot of 
oh wait, yeah, okay, we can do this later. There was a lot of uh, discounts on Steam. So he got lucky, he, he bought me this game, but everything, were, I think everything is now on his account somehow. I, I don't know how this works, to be honest. But the problem is there was a problem with Uno, with Uno and I wanted to uh, update it and it didn't go. And then it said like, oh, you, you don't own this game. And which was basically true because I got it as a gift. But I thought when you get it as a gift, someone gifts it through Steam to you, then it's yours, right? But somehow Ubisoft, I mean, Steam does know that. Steam is not the problem here. Ubisoft doesn't know that. <laughs> they don't know how Steam is handling the product in, in, the, in Steam's uh, uh, software program, what, what, whatever you want to call this. Client. Um, yeah, and this is why it's a big problem. Wait, is it, is it getting dark now? Oh no. Did I already hear a zombie? But no worries, we have a bed here. So if it's if it's getting too dark, we just go to bed here. Da -da -da. Solution to the problem. Easy, easy, peasy, peasy. Okay. So yeah, this this is the problem. I technically own Uno, Uno, but somehow I don't as well because the problem is Denko didn't have. It's 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 one of my best friends. Uh, it's Denko. Uh, No, I pressed it again. <laughs> At least it's resets the it resets the uh, the shader. <laughs> and I use the time to drink my tea. Because like a lukewarm uh, a lukewarm tea is especially good for uh, this type of content. Especially when you want to talk for a longer amount of time in like a, I don't know, is it a settled voice? Like a calm voice? You, If you want to do this, this is like kind of important to, it is really important to drink. And the, the water should not be too, um, too cold because this is obviously not good. Uh, I, I think, I mean, I'm preaching this like... I did preach this now so often, or often, as some people say. The funny thing is that an oven, you have an oven, right, as well, in, 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 the, ling in the language of English. <laughs> um, an oven, and often, and we have, in German, we have Ofen, which is a furnace, or an oven. Uh, it, it's, it's, it's good for baking, and... You know, this water, I, I love this texture pack. At some point, uh, I want to create like a, a cozy corner, a, a, not corner, corner. Um, especially because of this texture pack here. Oh, this was bad. Especially because of this texture pack here. Um, because it sometimes can really look like really magical. It's like when you see a little bit of this, then you have like maybe grass here or so with all these little bubbles. And then there is like a cherry tree or something. Something is falling down from below, from above. Like the cherry, um, like the sakura leaves, like the cherry leaves. <laughs> is it a flower? Do they have flowers? I don't know. But yeah, this is this is how you can how this can be a really. I thought uh, already of like a ten-hour version of just standing there and what, watching into one spot that is like magical. Because also, especially because the lights uh, are changing with time, so this is like uh, it can be really cool. And I would never have thought, especially when I, you know, the problem is you never sometimes think of stuff the way you think of it later. So I always have like the problem, I think I've mentioned this one or two times, that I'm a little bit of a, uh, 
a pain for my friends <laughs> because uh, I never I never trust like oh when they say oh this movie is really really good and I'm like no it's not <laughs> no it's not but have you seen it did you did you did some have you done some digging on it did you read something about it no I didn't I know I just know I don't like it but then they you know they have to violently drag me there to the cinema to the movies and then oh it's really good <laughs> yeah this is like this is why no one is going to the cinema with me anymore this <laughs> it's just too hard for them to to convince me every time <laughs> I think people just don't want to have the discussion with me, right? They're really, yeah, this is really good. You always say this. Come on. Trust. I don't know why I'm like that. So, and now, as you can see, this is the one thing left. And then we are ready for, for building. I just don't know if we should get rid of this here as well. Yeah, I think yes. I think we should. So I'm replacing this with dirt then. You know, I want to have it... I want everything to look like... With one little... With one type of blocks, not... I don't know how to say this. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Yeah, this is kind of nice here. What are you doing here? Can you just go away? Thank you. Oh, Gumba, you're so rude. No, he started it. <laughs> I never feel... I never feel accountable for... No, no, I feel... Don't worry. I'm feeling accountable for stuff. So... So this is what it looks like, right? We are ready with this type of project. The next one will be to get the walls up to... The question is just... Um, do I have enough tough? Because I would like to make the second... Uh, second floor of our house up there. Over... Over the... Hello? Over there. I would like to make the second floor... Uh, or at least the walls there with uh, tough bricks because they I think they look nice um, they look way more they look way better than the other ones okay we got a lot of sheesh from this stuff okay never mind I want just my just my bed back thank you very much ah yeah there's there's still something we have to replace here I forgot I didn't I just didn't see it hello can I have this Okay, this is swimming in the water now. Swimming in the water. And the project is ready completely, like to 100% now. So here maybe will be, I don't know, some kind of tower, maybe a prison. Yeah, maybe we can make like a villager prison over here. Right, it's, it's like, mostly like prisons are on an island, so no one can escape. So this is like half an island right a peninsula that it's called because it's huh look how dumb they are why are you even here hello can you just he doesn't want to die and i can't hit him or is it another one maybe it's a second one i, I just don't know yo it was a second one i just don't understand why sometimes this game behaves like super cool and you get so much stuff out of it. And then on the other hand, sometimes it behaves like... No, I don't give you anything. <laughs> this is like... It's a little bit like the lottery. And we need actually food to survive. Nice, I did it. I mean, we would survive even better um, even without this food here, but... What can I say? I mean, we have so many carrots now, and uh, I think we have some gold still. Maybe this would be then the next thing to do, uh, to go for gold. 
So preparation. <laughs> preparation for the winter. For the winter. Um, all the animals. Furious is bonding with them. Hey guys, what are you doing? <laughs> huh? For a second I thought there is a there is a sign or something. Hey, there's cherry blossom tree. Okay, so one thing goes in this is also like why should I why would I do this like that when there's only one raw chicken? And here I did it the other way around. I am yeah, I'm smart, leave me alone. So give me some of these. Ah, never mind. <laughs> never, never mind. Um, I'll do a little bit of sorting now because we have to get rid of stuff like this here, for example, even though we have so much of it. And what else? Ah, yeah, the dirt and the sand. I mean, the dirt, I will keep the dirt because we are going down for... Uh, down for gold. I mean, we have some gold, but you can never have enough gold. And, oh, what is this? This is polished... Wait, was it Blackstone? Or was it Deep Slate Bricks? No, it was Deep Slate Tiles. But we don't have... Also, we have to go down because we don't have too much Deep Slate anymore. And uh, this is... And especially no Tough, I guess. Do we have Tough? Yeah, a little bit of. But not much as well. So hopefully we can get more Tough out of this little uh, here's, here's some raw gold still mm. question is do i really need all this i leave one here one shovel because we we need the space we need we will need the space and of course this year uh power three ah didn't i want to put mending on this year <laughs> it is actually a really good bow <laughs> Um, do I have a boat to fix this? Is it possible? That's a little bit better. The problem is with every fix, uh, the, the experience levels. You will need to fix it in order to fix it. Uh, will go up. And yeah, if you fix it too often, then out of a sudden you put some enchantments, some one or two more enchantments on it. And then... You can forget about it because it's too expensive. <laughs> so we can't stay here because we need the, we obviously need the, we need this level. And as you can see, uh, we are very lucky to have this, wait, is it? It's very dark here on this side. And here as well. I want to put a little, bit, some more torches here because stuff can still spawn here, right? It's not good. Oh, we have so much tough here. So this is a, already a real good place for me, if you ask me. Because we get a little, uh, a little, we get a lot of tough from here. Now, this is also like kind of a problem sometimes when I uh, when I'm getting tired during a recording or during a stream because this is then it can happen very fast especially when it's warm uh, you know the thing is it's it seems that just sitting and playing and talking is like easy it, it kind of is because people especially children can do it like for hours hours I, I was one of these children. <laughs> I can talk and play for hours. Maybe this is why I'm doing this here. Just to get the, this energy out of me, right? Oh, so much tough. Tough is actually a nice nice block now. Because back then when it first came out you could do you couldn't do anything with it. So I was asking myself like, oh see? And there's there's the gold. I was asking myself, what is it even good for? Absolutely nothing. No. <laughs> um, 
but now, as you know, you have seen you have seen the the blocks in the SMP stream. Um, the walls they really look really they look really nice. I like that. I like that style. It reminds me of like a kind of what the heck kind of fancy uh, bathroom with these uh, with these with the tiles. So the brick blocks that are called brick blocks here, they are basically tiles in my eyes. They are not bricks. <laughs> but also the question is, would it look good? Because we have like deep slate, deep slate tiles, and then we have bricks on top. I'm just asking myself if the structure is, if this would go well with the structure, right? Because normally you would go from, from like a, a bigger pattern, which are bricks, and then to a smaller pattern if you go up. I think I, I don't know. This is where I have to pass because I'm not a designer or an architect, or both. <laughs> um. Maybe I should become one. <laughs> yeah, new projects in life. It's very important to have new projects in life. Uh, this is not even... I'm laughing now, but this is not even not even a joke. It's, it really is. If you have... You know, at some point life will become like very uh, routine and maybe boring sometimes, then it's maybe time for a new project. And it's never too late to learn stuff in life. So never forget this. If you're watching this and didn't fall asleep by now, it's never too uh, too late to uh, learn something new in your life because life is a never ending process of learning always always has been always will be um, and if someone tries to tell you oh you're 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 30 or oh, forget forget about this <laughs> no this is this is what dumb people do smart people learn till they die this is and it's uh, and it it's a mindset you can adapt and then you will be then you will be grandiose you will be super good at everything grandiose grandiose yes mm, maybe I should put the raw gold in this in here not not somewhere else what what is this here what is this <laughs> mm, oh I forgot we don't have. So wait, I have an idea. So we this is tough, right? I want all the tough. I want all the tough in the chests uh, at the new house. So this is what we are doing now. We leave them up, up there. And maybe wait, is the wall somewhere finished already? So I can maybe see how it looks like. What is this? Ah, oh, chicken. I'm hoping so badly for like uh, more aggressive mobs, like natural aggressive mobs. I mean, Minecraft is already a horror game. Let's be honest, right? But <laughs> and really, we don't need more. We don't need more horror animals, horrific animals, or hostile mobs to uh, in this game. But I would hope for you know at least for something that is not a drunken, uh, drunken like uh, the drowned zombies. Or like the puffer fish. There's not many hostile mobs in the water, so maybe I would hope in some, not everywhere, right? But in some biomes, for example, um, for maybe like a shark or something. Oh yeah, I can I can hear the people now. What are you are you insane, a shark? <laughs> yes, a shark. Dude, I if you want to, I'm already like a little bit. I don't know, maybe. Maybe if you are from, or maybe it's just us, I, I don't know. Some people have more experience with like water and underwater creatures than others, I assume. Like for example, if you remember PewDiePie was complaining about like um, this, this, these tiles here. 
Bricks, sorry, not tiles, bricks. Uh, it's like experience with underwater animals. I remember I once, and from this point, I'm so afraid of water and, and to go swimming somewhere where I don't can see uh, stuff. Or when the when the sight is um, is gone very very fast, right? When I can't see like far away, or when I see bigger fish, I I never trust bigger fish when I see them. I, I always think they want to <laughs> they want to attack me for some reason, which can happen, of course. Uh, you have to be very careful actually, <laughs> because you are coming to their home. They are living there. You're not you're not there on a daily basis. Uh, I don't know. I've, I don't live in I don't live in a lake <laughs> under under the water. Hello. But um, I had this experience. I was the very first time I got uh, I lo I got underwater glasses and like I want I could go snorkeling right, and I got them. I remember it was it was summer. I was so happy because the water quality at my uncle's place where he where he has. Here's like, here's a little bit of land uh, where you can go down to a lake. So all this land with the entrance to the lake belongs to him. And uh, and I remember we were there in, in summer and I got this mask as a, as a gift. Uh, so I went snorkeling and the very first thing I went in, I was so hyped, right? And the very first thing, like the first five, six, five minutes in the water, <laughs> I can hear like like this funny underwater sound, right? I was like, what is this? Where, where is this coming from? Because I couldn't lo locate it, right? And I heard it another again, right? Like <laughs> and in the distance where it's like a little bit foggy, like over there, right? Like, like over there, it's like foggy. I could see something moving. So I was like, and of course it was not like this far away. It was maybe like, I don't know, three to four meters away from me so and this is not really far because the underwater glasses are making everything bigger so it seems that it's closer to you and i was like oh my god th this was big it was kind of big fish it was a carp by the way <laughs> and and a really big one and you know i was like uh maybe i should go back and I, you know, I was still watching into in, in the in this uh, direction, but I was basically swimming like backwards, right? I wanted back to the to the to the shore, <laughs> and then this carp, then this carp came. The the carp sh shooted like through, like really fast through the water uh, into my direction, and it's like strifed me on the side. I was I was so afraid. <laughs> I was I was. I was horrified, man. This is now, you know, now looking back, it's kind of funny, but uh, because of the comedy and stuff, but damn, was I afraid. I was so, I was so horrified. And from this day on, I didn't want to go into the water again. <laughs> I mean, I did. Right. Sorry. I was thinking, drinking tea. Um, of course I did, because, uh, as you know, we have all these nice recordings from from Rhodes. Oh, it's it's raining again. It's very rainy here in this area. Maybe because I have the trident in my hand now. Um, but didn't we want to go... Didn't we want to go to... Um, oh yeah, maybe maybe one, uh, one more. One more thing. One, one more thing. Wait. <laughs> What is what is language? I can't I can't speak. Sorry. Uh, I want to have these tiles so I can take basically everything of this year and take it up to the mountain. Uh, so we can make deep slate tiles. I will go down and get some more. I promise. But for now, I want to see if we can. The problem is I don't want to take too many deep slate tiles because we maybe have to uh, make other walls for the second flooring maybe this is maybe the um, what are they tough bricks are not fitting too well with the rest of the of the house 
Uh, we will see in a second. Uh, we'll I really need a better, <laughs> better stair, some some kind of staircase or something. Maybe we, well, maybe I should start now with the, with the water elevator, so we don't have to run around like this all the time. But you know, I'm I'm, I was in my life always like a fan of. Um, I was always a fan of like a straight straight way to something, right? If you if you have if you're in school. Then you, of course, make your A grades, like a gymnasium or something. Uh, gymnasium, it's called in German. I don't know if this even exists in English. <laughs> but the thing is, I, you know, you go to school, then you go to university, then you have a job, like straight. But this is what I always wanted. But this is not what I always got from life, because life was more like, no, no, I think you should do more you should do more like this and that so basically life always showed me to go and look left and right um which is not too bad you know it's it's not too bad not always bad because if you if you have a straight line um you will tend definitely to you will definitely tend to Maybe we should make like two, right? So not only one stair, but two stairs like like this. So this will be good. So I can close this and here we are. So the tiles will go like blah, 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 blah. And here we have this. Where's the tough? I can also already make like provisoric. Hey, wait, I can make stairs out of these, right? Do we have... Yeah, look, we don't need... We don't need anything. We have everything here. Uh, four. Let's say eight. Let's, let's stay with eight first. So we make like boom, boom. One, two, three, four. Five. Six, seven. Oh, two more. Yeah, this is what I mean. Yeah, me and counting is also like... We are not the best friends sometimes. <laughs> Um, and then it was like 8. So this is 10. So I need 10 more. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Uh, let's stay with 8 first. Because I think... This is only for decorational purposes, right? See? Big brain gumba. Yeah, I did it. I did it. I knew it. I knew it. So I would also keep these stairs. They look really cool. So the question is, does the tough, which I did still didn't get, <laughs> do the tough bricks look, are they tough enough? So the question is um, maybe to make, I mean, this, uh, the second floor is already kind of, kind of big, right? So I would, want to maybe have a balcony on this side because here we already have a balcony we don't have one on this side here I can't I need to eat because I can't run anymore so I would want to have a balcony maybe on this side and then I would go with this wall here so this would be then like here so we have a big balcony actually and then we go like this right so this is why it would not look too bad to be fair i think it would not look too bad oops <laughs> oh wait I, I should not close this off here <laughs> So here would be like a sleeping place maybe something like i also thought of Mm, this is why here will be nothing for now because uh, this has a reason i want to have like on two or on both on both uh, uh, floors on both floors i want to have a chimney and of course a fireplace so it's really cozy right it's something different now 
I love fireplaces, man. And at my and at my grandma's place, there she has a fireplace. This is like uh, it's crazy. I love I love it so much, especially when it's you know this this feeling you have like a warm tea. Speaking of which, wait a second. You have a warm tea. It's it's raining cats and dogs outside, and you are sitting in there with. You know, with this fire burning in the background, reading a book. I think this is where you can relax the most. Uh, Why doing it like this when you can do it like that? Mm. Yeah, we're building now. I'm Bob the Builder. What do you want? Leave me alone. I could be Bob the Builder because my second name is Robert. So here we are. So we make the balcony. We make one balcony definitely in the lower. In the lower part of this housing. And then we make maybe a second one here. Uh, even though I wanted to have like a view maybe on. Over there because there's some. I think there's some ocean or something you could you could ba ba you could see water water there, but we will see we will see. Maybe I can still make one. Uh, this should be not too not too bad. So what is this? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go again. Ah, see, here come. finally we can close up this part here as well. With the tiles, and we don't have enough. So it already looks kind of. It really looks cozy. I like it. I have to be honest. I like it. Uh, I don't know. I just don't know where to put, for example, a kitchen or something like the working room. Um, maybe somewhere here. So it's a little bit hidden under this, and it's not like pre too present, right? Um, but this is like future. We're in German we say Zukunftsmusik. This is future music, right? Uh, which basically means that something is um, in the future. <laughs> dun, 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 boom. Wait, is this correct? Yes. Always be correct. The German style of life. Which is not always true. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry to say. <laughs> but yeah. People love to pretend, right? It doesn't look... I mean, it fe hmm. It looks a little bit like there's something missing. Like something... Maybe it's just me. So I think of a three color thing. So basically the ground, the first flooring will be dark, of course, then this will be a little bit more uh, a brighter color, definitely because of these tough bricks. And then maybe, maybe there will be a, se uh, a third one. I just don't know. Maybe I will make like a little tower uh, here on this, on this side, because this looks really like one, two, three. Then you have this one, two, three. Oh, this could be good. One, two, three. And then you basically place one here, one here, one here, one here. Uh, and you can close it up like this. Oh yeah, this is a, oh, this is a really great idea. Okay. I like this already. So yeah, this will be a tower. And the Tower of Power, no. <laughs> and then you can basically go up and then look down on everything like this. I mean, we will not see a lot because it will be very foggy here. We are surrounded by, we are surrounded by wild forests where no one lives. No, no human being has ever been in this place. I'm just closing this off just in case that mobs will spawn. Um, the qu the thing is, 
Okay, I see already where the pro where, where a little problem might appear in the future. And we still have more. A little problem might appear. Wait, is the bat out? No. A little problem might appear in... I'll show you in a second. But it's only looks, right? If we don't take... If, if we don't take this too serious, then this should be completely fine. But looks also sometimes count. The problem is, I want uh, this tower to be separated from the rest of the house. So I will have to leave this gap open uh, in order for this to look like a little bit like a tower. So as you can see, I've overthrown my I have overthrown my idea of uh, I have overthrown the idea of this doesn't look good. This is too much free space here. It doesn't look good because this is too much free space here. So it would look better if I just would take out this here. And the same we do here. The good thing about this gap is now I can put some green or something in here. Yeah, this is what I would do. Put some, some green here maybe. Like decoration for decorational purposes. Uh, we have two deep slates we can get rid of now. I uh, need two brick deep slates. And so this will be surrounded here like that. Um. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mm. Not too bad, not too bad. So we have here. So the question is then the staircase will be made of Look, if we are up here now, or maybe even higher, uh, I will, I will need the water bucket in a second. I mean, we are very, very high now, but we can't basically, we can't basically see anything because of the, f the world fog. Um, I mean, I could put it down a little bit. So when you stand here and the wall is up here. Mm. Yeah, and especially here, no one will see this here, right? So does it even make sense to put this here? And here also no one will see this because this will, this will, does it even make sense to put this here? Maybe instead of putting it here, I could just leave this open. I take it away for now because the thing is if we have if we do it later we can still put walls inside here right so this is not a problem um, I just need the, the this type of blocks right now here more than any any anywhere else so I also take away this here I was thinking of this when we started doing this I thought of it here already but I thought, nah, maybe we don't need to do it. But I think it's it's looking better now. And then we close this up here. Finally. And, hmm. Wait, one, two, three. One, two, three. Maybe here as well, then one. Hmm. Then this would be one, two, three. Uh, no, this no, no, it's not fitting. This wouldn't go well. This wouldn't do well here, even though it would be a nice idea. But I think this would this should be more like the study room, right? The study is uh, having a study is kind of kind of important always. It's a place where you can relax, learn stuff, relax. It's a good place. So yeah, this will be like this. A study here, maybe a bed here. So this will definitely um, study here. Yeah, when here will be the chimney and the fireplace. So the bed will be maybe somewhere, 
somewhere close to it. Like maybe on the other side, so like here so. Directly on the other side, so you have the warmth of the fireplace while you sleep here. I mean, we are very high, right? So the higher you go, the higher you go, the uh, the wa the colder it will get. Uh, let's take this and this. So this is now. This is we are already. We have already passed the point of no return because <laughs> because. Uh, the more the, the the more interesting part will be of course as well the 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 roofing <laughs> but hey maybe maybe i can take this away as well yeah luckily we have a door on this side too <clears throat> and my voice my voice is going away again but this happens you know after like an hour of uh, of talking to the camera, uh, to the camera, t to the microphone. Uh, for a good reason, I have I, I kept the camera out of this today. Because I didn't feel too well in the last few days. Uh, I think I got a little bit sick, but I didn't... It was nothing really serious. So I kept... Uh, I kept going. <laughs> So here we are. But most of the time, I'm I'm more of this per uh, I'm more like this person. When I'm sick, I really want to relax, and I put definitely my my health first uh, over over producing videos or whatever. Maybe this is not a good maybe this is not a good um, mindset to have, but especially with the algorithm. But, you know, times are changing, everything will change. Mm. So yeah, the question is, should I take this with me then? Yeah, this may be a good idea. I just need to place something here so I can get up here. And... Look at this. If you take this away, put this here, we come out to be very good. We have everything now. So if this is the small study, like with bookshelves and stuff, and here will be then like a thing. So the entrance to the to the balcony will be maybe here. Oh no, this is <laughs> maybe not here. Uh, maybe. Maybe here, like a two, two door thing. Hmm. I would love to make like big, big windows, like maybe three, three blocks high or something. I, I just don't know if this is a good idea or not. Um, especially with the chimney on this side. Hmm. Yeah, we will see. We will see. This is like, this is our little fortress here. If the pigment can have one, we have one too. But yeah, I think this is it for today. Thank you a lot of, uh, for, uh, for watching or sleeping already. I hope you already fell asleep because this is what this, is, uh, what this project is all about, right? This is a sleep well. And if you don't go to bed now, I will shoot you with this, with this trident, okay? Boom, <laughs> go to bed. Uh, can I have my trident back, please? Thank you. <laughs> so yeah, thanks a lot for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, and hopefully you already fell asleep. So Gamba out and good night.